even though these beautiful woods we found on our trip to Germany were nothing short of breathtaking, I kept hearing gunshots and war sounds while walking through them. I kept imagining what these peaceful, quiet woods had seen. Chaos, pain, and the misery of war. It must have been because I've watched too many World War II movies, or maybe because my grandpa would tell me all about his stories from the war when he was a kid himself. It was like the soft moss was covering up what had happened. It was like it wanted to forget and move on. It covered the grounds and made the forests grow beautiful, silent and peaceful. just about to drive over the border to uh, Austria and then into Germany and um, hoping that everything goes really well with the whole COVID thing. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Adrian and I were able to drop off Logan at my parents for a week and we were off road tripping across Switzerland and into Germany. We rented a sweet little Airbnb somewhere close to Munich and we enjoyed being able to just drive for as long as we wanted, eat when we were hungry and going for long walks in the cities and woods. We saw so many things and spending time as a couple was both beautiful and much needed. We just arrived here at Dachau, the memorial site for the concentration camp here just outside of München. And I've never been at a concentration camp before. Adrian has, so he kind of knows what to expect. And I kind of don't, and I'm pretty nervous, actually, um, not really knowing what to expect and how I'm going to feel about this.
we just finished our tour of the concentration camp and yeah. I don't really know. I feel weird, I guess. Like knowing what all happened there, but not... Yeah, it seems it's hard to really feel what actually went down because it was so long ago and everything was, a lot has been taken away and there's very little original stuff, but you do, you see the videos of actually what happened and it's just, it's, it is a weird feeling. It's, yeah, it's, it's weird. It's, it's, it's like weird to know that you were walking on the ground where so many people had, you know, lost their lives. Good morning. It is really early in the morning and I basically jumped out of bed to capture some of this. I'm doing a time-lapse photography and trying to capture some of the fog on this little pond. Um, so yeah, pretty, <laughs> pretty wide-eyed and bushy-tailed this morning. <laughs> I'm doing another time-lapse right now and I'm just sitting here on a field. It is so freaking beautiful. My camera is doing the work. And the most difficult thing about doing this is the actual waiting time. It's so hard to wait until the camera is done. Um, usually it takes like between 10 and 20 minutes for a time lapse. And oh my gosh, patience is not my strength. Like I am not good at waiting. <laughs> it is so hard. <sighs> so anyways, I'm filming this so to kind of kill some time. <laughs> It is six at night and look what we got. Ice cream, gelato. gelato. <laughs> and I always take the same ones. The bottom one is hazelnut and the top one is lemon. I love it. <laughs> I try to I try to try new things, but she always sticks with her. Yeah, he always her... tries new stuff. I don't. <laughs> everyone we decided to go for a walk even though it's raining today um, because yesterday we went to a bigger city and you know while it was very beautiful it was so stressful in a way and we just realized once again that we are not city people like we we love to see the architecture and we love to see the old buildings and the history and everything but we are not made for the city. It's too frantic. There's like the noise always going on and so many people, oh my gosh, just people everywhere. <laughs> and it's just not who we are at all. And coming out of this forest, we've been walking for I think at least one and a half hours so far. And like finding this peace in this forest has been 
the most beautiful part of our entire trip so far. Just, you know, walking hand in hand, seeing Leia go off and just finding interesting little smells and, you know, just all of that has been so beautiful to, to see and to, you know, just feel and smell the forest and just enjoy it. Even like right now when it's raining a little bit, it's drizzling, you could just hear it. I don't know if you can hear it in the sound, but it's like such a beautiful pitter-patter with like a few um, birds singing and kind of twitching all over. I think he's mad that I'm sitting here in the forest, <laughs> but it's, it's just so beautiful. And I really feel like I'm filling up with that peace and quiet that I needed so much. I was so desperate for it and just sitting here in the forest is, it's like bathing in like happiness somehow. It's, it's just so beautiful. Did you find something? We found a lot of mushrooms out there, luckily, so we'll see. Maybe we have them for dinner tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Yum! <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this video. We hope you have a great time until we see you again in a couple weeks. Stay safe, my friends. Mwah.